It's a family-run Italian restaurant known for its lasagna. Started 35 years ago by Roberto Morandi's parents, Pasta Morandi has provided a good life for three generations of his family. As Venezuela sinks deeper into an economic crisis, Morandi developed Pasta on Hold, a program to help people who are desperate for food. For the situation del país. Sadly, a lot of people are living in the streets and most of them eat from trash cans. I wanted to help somehow. Customers at the restaurant buy an extra dish at half of what it cost the restaurant to prepare it. Pasta Morandi absorbs the rest of the cost and donates the food to hungry people. They started out delivering the food. Now they serve street people who come directly to the restaurant. We come here every single day and we get our plate of pasta. They never say no and they do more than the government that gives us nothing. According to the Catholic non-profit organization Caritas, more than 70 percent of Venezuelan families have had to change their usual ways of acquiring food. Caritas reported that in 2017, four out of ten people got their food by begging for it or picking through what others had thrown away. Eating from garbage has become the only way for some Venezuelans to survive. The Venezuelan government delivers subsidized food boxes to low-income families twice a month, but many people say that's simply not enough. Eight million Venezuelans have serious difficulties eating properly. Many have turned to the streets and day by day hyperinflation aggravates the situation. Pasta Morandi has provided thousands of meals to hungry Venezuelans since it started Pasta on Hold two years ago. Its owners understand the program won't solve the food crisis, but they say as long as they remain open, they will help those in need one plate of pasta at a time. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGTN, Caracas.